Got zucchini coming out of your ears? I get you. Looking for a yummy zucchini recipe? I got you. One of the most popular recipes on my website, chocolate zucchini brownies are delicious and divine. You put it all together in one pot, and before you know it, you will have this delicious goodness ready to serve. Hey, my name is Kathy from fabulouslyfrugal.com. I'm sharing recipes for your Instant Pot air fryer, your freezer, and anything that my family likes because I'm pretty sure your family will like it too. If you are all about moist, chewy, dense brownies, you gotta check this one out. It's one of those delicious recipes that I like to make up and give my husband a bite of, and then I tell him that there's zucchini in it later. If it's my husband approved, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this one. Are you ready to see it? Let's go. Okay, you're gonna need a cup of grated zucchini. So just shred that up however best works for you. You can see I just used my cheese grater, it worked out great. And then you'll wanna drain just some of the moisture out. It depends on how wet your particular zucchini is. You can see mine wasn't too bad. I just usually dump it in a large measuring cup and squeeze up along the side. You can also use your hands to squeeze it out. Or if it's really runny, you can put it in a towel and then wring it out. But you can see there, I didn't have too much liquid there. Next, grab your square pan and line it with foil. I like to flip mine upside down and then press along the outer edges so I can kind of have my foil somewhat shaped to the pan. Then lightly spray that and it's time to start the batter. Now it calls for a third cup of vegetable oil. I'm gonna use coconut oil instead. No one even knows. Then add a half cup of chocolate chips. You can do semi-sweet, dark, milk, and then you need two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. And you're just gonna mix that together until your mixture is nice and smooth. Remove that from the heat, and then you're gonna add one cup of sugar. I like to stir that in so it gets somewhat dissolved. And then next, add one egg plus one egg yolk, and then one teaspoon of vanilla. When that's all combined, you're gonna throw in your one cup of zucchini and just stir that in until it's all combined. Next, you'll need to add a cup of flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. And just fold that in until it's combined, but do not overmix. Then grab your square pan, pour in the batter, and you're gonna throw it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Now, I'm using an eight by eight pan, so it took about 30 minutes for mine. While that's cooking, you're gonna make your frosting. All you need is a small saucepan. Melt together three tablespoons of butter, one and a half tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, three tablespoons of chocolate chips, and one and a half tablespoons of milk. Just combine that until everything is melted and take it off the heat and whisk in a quarter teaspoon of vanilla and one cup of powdered sugar until it's all combined and nice and smooth. Then when the brownies come out of the oven, just pour that frosting on immediately, spread it evenly over the top and let your brownies cool for about 10 minutes. Then lift the foil out of the pan and cut into pieces and serve. Yummy. And just like that, your brownies are magically done. Don't tell anyone there's vegetables in it. They'll never know. Yay! Be sure to check this one out, and I think you'll like this one too. I will see you next time.